today is Wednesday, December 13, 2017. I'm Karina Padilla. And I'm Miguel Tierra Blanca. Topic our stories for this morning. When you go online, you have certain expectations. You expect to be connected to whatever website you want. You expect that your phone cable or phone company isn't messing with the data, connecting you to all websites, applications, and content you choose. You expect to be in control of your, of your internet experience, thus net neutrality. Net neutrality is a basic principle that prohibits internet service providers like AT&T, Comcast, and Verizon from speeding up, slowing down, or blocking any content. Applications or website you want to use, net neutrality is the way that the internet has always worked. In 2015, millions of activists pursued the Federal Communications Commission to adopt historic net neutrality rules that keep the internet free and open, allowing you to share and access information you're choosing without interference. But right now, this win is in jeopardy. Trump's FCC chairman, Ajit Pai, wants to destroy net neutrality. In May, the FCC voted to let Pai internet killing plan move forward. By the end of the summer, the agency was flooded with more than 20 million comments. The vast majority of people commenting urged the FCC to prevent the existing net neutrality rules. SCTV hits the halls to ask students their awareness of net neutrality. Can you speak a little bit about net neutrality? Uh, net neutrality is how basically the government wants to start putting restrictions on um, our use of the internet, what we can search, what we can do, basically. What's your opinion on net neutrality? Um, I feel like not as many people are worried about it as it should be. Um, it's a very important topic because it affects everybody. I wouldn't want to pay like $40 to just log into Instagram, so yeah, it's important. My name is Anna Lopez, and I got accepted to Texas State University. One, two, three. Corpus Christi, Texas, Personal in Injury Authority, Thomas J. Henry knows how to throw a party. Just last year, he spent <coughs> $6 million on his daughter's Maya's continueta. This weekend, he made sure his son's 18th birthday didn't fall short. The party featured performances by Diplo J. Balvin and Migos. Reports state the event cost about $4 million. In November, Henry won a $45.3 million vertic on the behalf of his client in a company vehicle crash involving the use of cell phones while driving. So there's a lot of money to spend. Honestly, if somebody was spending six million dollars on a birthday party, like just give me the money. <laughs> I don't I want think a that party. Be pretty cool. That's a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> and now for the weather with Eurofresto. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> <laughs> how do you say your last name? Muriel Frausto. 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 Thank you, Kariga and Miguel. And now for weather. As you can see, uh, today will be um, today will be partly cloudy with a high of 65 and a low of 47. And on Thursday it will be uh, mostly cloudy with a high of 67 and a low of 40, 42. On Friday, however, it will be it will be some showers with a high of 70 and a low of 51. On Saturday it will be uh, mostly cloudy with a high of 63 and a low of 56. And on Sunday, however, it'll be uh, as well showers with a high of 70 and a low of 51. On Monday, next Monday, we'll, it'll be a.m. showers with a high of 66 and a low of 48. And on Tuesday, it'll be partly cloudy with a high of 68 and a low of 52. Thank you. And that's our weather report for SCTV News. I'm Uriel, signing off. An Oklahoma vet removed 21 pacifiers from a dog's stomach last week. According to local reports, KFOR-TV reported that a couple who recently had a baby noticed that pacifiers kept going missing around the house. 
One day, the baby's grandmother noticed that the couple's dog, Doby, grabbed a pacifier off the counter. The couple took Doby to Dr. Chris Rispoli, a dental care animal hospital, after noticing the dog wasn't eating as much as usual and had vomited up a pacifier. KFOR TV reported Rispoli posted about the incident on Facebook and said they originally thought the dog only ate seven to nine pacifiers, but they were wrong. Doby is, is recovering at Rispoli caution their pet owners to be cautious with their pets. Dogs will eat anything, anytime, at any age, so always be watching, he said in the post.